Big congratulations to you. You should be proud of yourself. You've taken a big jump to upgrading the quality of your CRM, which then upgrades the quality of your business. So congratulations, I'm proud of you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get set up, how to install your snapshot into your CRM and how to apply for A2P. Now it's very important that you pay attention in this video because applying for A2P is a critical aspect to using any CRM. There's some guidelines by the TCR, the Telephone Consumer Regulatory, that says you need to say, hi, this is my name and I'm going to be texting from this number and I pinky promise that I'm not going to spam people. So you need to go through this A2P approval process. So make sure you're paying close attention because there's certain things you need to do to make sure that you're approved. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to get a link like this from me and that link is very important. Make sure you use that link when you sign up because that's where the wholesaling CRM snapshot is saved. So pop that link into your Google browser. Now, if you haven't already signed up, you're gonna be greeted with a page to sign up. Um, if you've already signed up, you're gonna be greeted with a page like this. Let's say you come into your CRM and you're in here and you're like, oh, um, you know, I don't really know where to go. Well, just make sure you're logged in and pop this link into another page and you're gonna get greeted with a thing that says, yes, import now. So we're gonna import it. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna click off of that and then back onto it. And we're gonna see under imported snapshots, or if you're looking for it, if you wanna know where it is, just go over to account snapshots right here and then click on imported snapshots and you'll see it there. Now, when you're setting up an account, you're gonna to wanna to click this little blue plus button right here. Okay, great. And then you're gonna see here, add account manually. You're gonna click add account manually. It's on the search bar. Click that right there. Cool. Now you're gonna put in all your information. Now it's very, very important that all this information is absolutely correct. Don't put any nicknames, don't put any abbreviations, no spelling mistakes, nothing. It's gotta be absolutely correct because this information is gonna be cross-referenced with the records of, I don't know who holds the records, but whoever holds the corporate records, it's gonna be cross-referenced. And if there's any discrepancies, you're probably gonna get denied. So make sure this information is correct. You have first name, last name, email, business name, street, street address, city, country, business niche. That's optional. You don't have to put business niche in there. Um, state, province, zip, phone number, website. You don't have to put website in there just yet and time zone. And the time zone is gonna be the time zone in which you are marketing. So which market are you in? Where are your contacts from? That's gonna be the time zone. So after you do that, just click save. I'm gonna skip this part because I don't want you guys to see the information that I'm putting in there. So just hang tight. Okay, cool. So after you've done that, you're gonna be greeted with a page like this. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click switch to sub account. Right on. So as you can tell, you have the snapshot uploaded because you can see here that you have the pipelines. You have the agent cold outreach, agent off market, buyer pipeline, MLS offers, wholesaler cold outreach, wholesaler micro flipping. So you know you have the snapshot in there. If you don't see that, maybe you did something wrong, go back to the beginning and try again. Now. After you have that, you're going to go to sites and then you're going to go to websites. And as you can see here, there's an A2P approval website. There's a website specifically made for A2P approval. That's great. But before we start working on the website, we need to link a domain. So we're going to go down to domains and we're going to click add domain. Okay. Now we're going to go to our domains. Okay, DNS records, and just follow along step by step. You know, this. I hope, I hope this doesn't get complicated, but if it does, that's okay. Just follow along step by step. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a record, okay? And you're gonna put your, your domain name in there. Um, so one second, so this one here is Sweat Developments. Um, so S W E A T developments, Inc.
dot rising star investment dot com copy uh, we're gonna do a C name okay we're gonna put sweat developments Inc dot rising star investment dot com and obviously you're gonna do your domain um, get rid of that okay cool click save perfect now this is going to be your domain i do subdomains so i'll help people set up and if you need help getting set up let me know contact me um, we have a special package for people that need help um, so as you can tell i put their entity name uh, dot rising star investment dot com and then it'll turn into a flash funnels afterwards but now we're going to go back and we're going to pop that in there sweat developments inc dot rising star investment dot com but that's going to be your business name dot your domain dot com okay continue and this might fail that's okay if it fails it's going to give us a special dns okay so look at that um so it wants a manual addition so we're going to do a cname record with the host name and the required value so we're going to go back over to squarespace and we're going to add record and we're going to switch to a cname record we're going to put this name here paste Whoops, I don't, is that the right one? Yeah, it is. And then we're gonna do the required value right here. We're gonna click save. Cool. And we're gonna go back and click verify records. Awesome. Okay, so now we have to link the domain with a funnel and we're gonna do the ATP approval website and link it to the home page. So now we'll click go back and we are going to get to work on our website. So first things first, um, we're going to fill out some custom values. So we're going to start with domain. So we're just going to search up domain and we're going to click these three little dots and click edit custom value. Okay. Now we want to put that domain in. So remember we have sweat developments, Inc dot rising star investment dot com and pop that in, click update. Okay, next thing you're gonna update is company name. Okay, right here, company name. Custom value. Okay, and it's split. Okay, we'll click update. <coughs> Perfect. Awesome, so now that we have that in there, um, we will also go to our website. We are going to click on these little pop-out preview links. Okay, welcome to sweatdevelopments.risingstarinvestment.com. Cool. Okay, privacy policy, pop that out as well. And as you can see, now it has the link slash privacy policy. Cool. Okay, now we're going to go to forms. We're going to click on the A2P form. We're going to click on this little body of text right here. Scroll down so you see the blue text, terms and conditions. Highlight it, then click these three little dots and change the link. Okay, so we're going to change that to the terms and conditions. Confirm. Cool. Then we have the privacy policy. Highlight that link. Change it to the privacy policy. Press save. Great. Awesome. You can click go back. Okay, now we will go to our website, ATP approval website. We're going to click the little pop out. And let's make sure our hyperlinks work. Good. Good. Awesome. They work. Um, as you can see here, we're missing one more thing. Uh, if you have any contacts, questions, or concerns about our privacy, please contact us at. Um, so we need to put an email in there. This will be on the business profile business email right here.
Now we're going to double check that our privacy policy auto populates with an email. Not yet. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we go back to the website and then we click pop out. Okay, so for some reason it's not auto populating yet. That's okay. We can just force it in there. Sweet, there we go. And now we have our entire website set up for the A2P approval process. Now what we need to do is we need to go to settings, phone numbers. Okay, so now we have to add a phone number. So we're gonna click add number and we wanna filter it down to be a certain phone number. So we're gonna click first part of number. We're gonna go 470. Apply. Grab a phone number, proceed to buy. So now we need to set up your ATP. So we're going to click start now up here and we're going to set this up. So start registering now. Is the business you're registering located in the US or Canada? Yep. Um, does the business you're registering have a tax ID? Um, yes, has a tax ID. Continue. Okay. Uh, legal business name, we're gonna input this information here. So one second, let me input it and I will see you on the next page. Okay, cool, awesome. And if you have your information filled out on your business profile, this should auto-populate. Um, so if it doesn't, put in your information. Now this is gonna be your entity address. This isn't gonna be your personal address, your mailing address, this is gonna be your entity's address. If you don't know your entity's address, go on open corporates and search up your entity and figure out your entity's address. Okay, and then you're gonna put in the authorized representative for your entity, so who is the point of contact? Awesome, and after you get all of that done, you're gonna be met with a page like this. Um, so you're gonna do low volume standard and you're gonna acknowledge, I acknowledge brand and campaign registration fee of $20.95 will be charged. Um, if the campaign pretty much, it says you're going to get a $20 charge. If the campaign doesn't uh, go through, you're going to have to pay another $20 charge. Plus you're going to have to pay up to $12 per month in accordance with the telephone consumer regulatory rules for both failed and approved campaigns. Click continue. Cool. Now this is the great and nice and easy part. Um, a to P guidelines. I have this form here called the A to P guidelines and I'll link it in the description. Um, so we can just go ahead and grab, uh, copy and paste it. I do want to put a legal disclaimer in there. I'm not giving legal advice. Make sure all the statements you say are true. And I am not making any promise of approval. It is not my responsibility. If you do not get approved, use these guidelines at your own discretion. Okay. If you didn't listen to that, rewind it, listen to it again. It is not legal advice. This is your responsibility. Make sure all statements you give are true and I'm not making any promises of approval. Use these at your own discretion. Okay, so you're gonna have a bunch of little photos here that kind of tell you what to do, exactly what I just told you. Um, so now you're gonna grab your sample message. This is sample message number one, and this is sample message number two. Sample message number one is, hello, this is Austin from Code Refresh. I'm following up about a property you requested information on that's, on sale, that's for sale on the MLS. Um, would you have any time to discuss today? Reply stop and you will be added to the do not contact list. Um, sample message number two. Hello, James. This is Austin from the office of Code Refresh, Inc. We're reaching about a property on XYZ. You sent in an offer. Reply stop to cancel. Um, so there is a message here. Use case description. You see this use case description? Make sure you put that in the use case description box. Okay, cool. Um, these boxes right here, the message will include an embedded link. Uh, the message will include phone numbers. It will not include phone numbers, so you can uncheck that and don't check any of the other boxes. Okay, how do leads 
slash contacts can send to receiving messages. Right here, how to leave slash contacts can send to receiving messages. Let's copy that. Okay, end users opt in by visiting your website. Let's populate that with your website. Cool. Filling out their details, users check a box to receive notifications and promotional messages uh, to provide their consent. Opt-in message. What is the opt-in message? Right here. You have successfully opted in to receive messages from your company. Let's populate your company name in there. Code Refresh Inc. Cool. And then click submit. And just like that, you've submitted for A2P. Now, I've seen it get approved in as little as 36 hours and as long as two weeks. Usually, it takes about a week. You're going to get an email right away saying, hey, your brand was approved. That doesn't mean you're fully approved. You still need to get your campaign approved, which is this bottom one here. As soon as your brand is approved, it's going to automatically submit your campaign. And that's the thing that I see take as little as 36 hours to as long as two weeks. Usually, it's going to take about seven days. This is the most important part of it. So I'm glad that you got through it. After this, it's going to be nice and easy, smooth sailing. Thanks.